In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the testimonial module. The testimonial module lets you uh, display a quote from one of your satisfied, cu satisfied customers. Uh, you can add a photo of the person, um, their actual testimonial quote, add their name, their position in the company, and a link to their website. All these are optional. You can also choose to display a quote icon. So if you don't have a photo, it's nice to put a quote icon there, so it's kind of obvious that it's a quote. Um, yeah, so here's a join page that I'm creating. And down here below the pricing tables, I want to put some testimonials from our customers that are telling everyone how great our product is to help it improve the conversion rate of this page. So here's the builder representation of that page. And down here below the pricing tables, I want to add a new row to house my testimonials. So I'm going to add a new row. And I'd like to add three of them. So I'm going to do the three one-third column row. And in my first column, I'm going to click Insert Modules and choose the Testimonial Module. The first thing you can choose is the author name. You can put in their job title, the company name, and the URL of their company or their website. Now, each of these things are optional, so if you don't want to include their job title or their company name or you don't have this information, that's fine. Just leave it blank and it, it won't show up anywhere. Now, if you have defined a URL for their company, you can choose whether or not you want that URL when it is clicked to open up in the same window or a new tab. So since I'm making a join page, I don't really want people to leave the page. I'm going to have this link open in a new tab. Now, you can also define uh, a photo for the person that's giving the testimonial. So I'm going to click Upload Image and pick an image for this person. You can also leave this blank if you don't have a photo, that's fine. And you can also choose to enable or disable the quote icon. Now since, I'm enable or since I've uploaded a photo, I'm probably going to hide this because it looks a little better uh, to not have both the quote and the portrait visible. So I'm going to make the quote icon hidden. And then we're going to copy and paste in the quote and save. All right, so we've added one testimonial. Let's add another one. This person's name is Sally. She's a graphic designer. Open it up in a new tab again. Going to define a photo for her testimonial. Going to keep that quote icon hidden and save. All right, going to add one more. This time, I'm not going to upload a photo. Say I don't have a photo for him. And I'm going to keep the quote icon visible. So we'll see what that looks like. All right, so we've added our three testimonials. I'm going to update. And let's take a look at our page now. So you can see when I scroll down below our pricing tables, I've added these three testimonials. The first one and the second one have a photo portrait. The third one has the quote icon instead. Um, each of these link out to the company URL, and they're going to open up in a new tab, as you can see. So you can always go back to the old one. And that's how you use the testimonial module.